What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm pretty excited to make this video. It's one that um, I didn't necessarily expect to be making this early on in this journey, but i um, super pumped to be doing my first kind of unboxing partnership type of video. Uh, so uh, going to be pretty fun. Uh, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down there. Um, big help for me and the channel. Um, and uh, we'll also help you guys, you know, stay in tune with all the updates, all the new videos, tournaments, uh, goofy sh shorts, and all that sort of thing. So um, go ahead and do that, and then we'll jump right into it. So uh, this is kind of my first partnership with a, a company, um, and uh, I'm super pumped about it. You know, they're a, a smaller business, um, but uh, the folks there are awesome. They carry a ton of really cool baits, stuff that's often hard to get here in the States. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into it. So got their box here. Um, and this is them. So Carolina Fishing Tackle uh, were kind enough to send me um, some baits. And uh, the plan is to kind of do this as a kind of ongoing um, thing where they'll send me some baits and I'll, I'll kind of talk through them and the idea is that I'll I'll be working these baits into the patterns and different things that I'm doing on Clarks Hill, Lake Murray, uh, wherever I'm at. So um, this time they sent me some jerk baits because that's one of the things I've really been uh, doing a lot with during this herring spawn type season on Clarks Hill and Murray. Um, so they sent me some really cool jerk baits. I'm pumped to share them with you guys. Um, so the first two they sent me actually two of um, so these ones are I'm a flit 120s they sent me a silver flash and a clear um, so definitely pumped to use these uh, a chrome jerk bait is hard to beat especially on Clark's Hill for herring spawn uh, they love chrome anything chrome uh, is good to have on your deck this time of year um, so definitely excited to try that one out we'll be throwing that some this weekend uh, very similar story with the clear um, sometimes they're picky you know and this clear um, flit I think will do really well um, for those times when the fish are a little bit more picky they're not quite wanting something quite as in their face uh, so this clear gives them just a little bit less of a look at it um, might be good during you know the end of herring spawn these fish are pressured they've had their heads beat in for weeks now um, also uh, it's definitely going to be good in the fall uh, when the bait gets smaller these clear colors don't give as big of a profile and so I think that'll really help when the bait's tiny and the, the bass are keying in on some really tiny bait so excited about that one as well um, the next one that they threw in here I had never seen before um, and so we're gonna learn about this one together I'll probably do another video on this lure just itself but this is a um, a Nasheen Lure Works, I believe is how you say it. It's an Erie 115 SD. Um, it's a really cool color. Let's see if they have chartreuse smelt. Um, don't know if the camera picks it up real well, but it's got a kind of a matte but um, holographic shad type color. It's kind of a blue back with a chartreuse sides. Um, got some really nice detailing on it. Super pretty bait. Um, it looks like it comes with some high quality hooks as well. The interesting thing about this one, if you can see it right there, is it includes a weight. Um, and so just kind of reading the back of it, the idea is for the weight, you kind of use the weight to customize the bait. So if you leave the weight fully intact, it'll be a slow sinking jerk bait. If you remove it completely, it'll slowly float. Then if you cut the weight, you can make it suspend. Um, and then basically they suggest just kind of incrementally thinning the bait to kind of get it to do exactly what you want it to do. So that's really cool. It'd be really, really nice to have a versatile jerk bait that I can adjust on the fly um, if I if I'm realizing you know they want this jerk bait to be popping up or they want it to stay just very still or they want it to sink so I can get maybe down a little bit deeper to some forward-facing sonar type of fish um, this will be a really versatile jerk bait like I said I've never 
heard of or seen one of these before, um, but I'm super pumped to try it out. Uh, the color they sent me is awesome. So um, thanks to the folks over at CFT. That's, that's super cool. Um, and then the next one they sent me here is one that I've, I've seen and I've thought it looks really good, uh, but I haven't tried one yet. But this is one of the uh, Shimano jerk baits. Um, so it's the 115 size. Uh, they call it the, the flash boost, or I guess it's got a, maybe it's got a flash boost in it. It's got a kind of a little holographic plate in there that, that shimmers really nice. Um, the color is Shimano World Minnow. So definitely a pretty color, um, imitates shad super well. Uh, so I think this will be another great jerk bait, um, really any time of year. Um, this color is I mean, it's it's pretty much universal. It's a great great shad or herring imitator. So this is definitely another one I'm I'm excited to try out. I love throwing a jerk bait. Um, in years past, I haven't thrown it as much, but this year I've had a lot more success with it. Um, mainly because I think I've been locking it in my hand a little bit more and and just throwing it. But um, this Shimano is going to be pretty cool. Um, excited to give that one a try. So those are the jerk baits they sent. Um, I'll be doing another video, including these guys in it, um, doing a tackle talk on jerk baits. So that'll be pretty exciting. Um, definitely something that if you haven't spent a lot of time with a jerk bait, it's one of those that no matter where you are in the country, uh, you're going to catch fish on it. And again, it's one you can throw year round and catch fish. So definitely an important skill to have and an, an important technique to master. So uh, stay tuned for that. And then the last thing they sent me, um, and they even they even sent me a message and said the main reason they sent these was they've always been wanting to try them, but they haven't had a chance to yet, so they want me to. So um, this is a Kesu Tora six and a half inch. Um, so kind of a, a larger swim bait, kind of multi-jointed here. Um, cool looking colors. Um, I think this will be uh, super handy for a few applications, whether I'm just throwing a, like a weedless type of swim bait around grass or something like I can see this working really well on Lake Murray, um, around some of the water willow pads, hydrilla, eel grass, that sort of thing. Um, the other cool thing though about these is if you can see, they've got these little, these little white keepers in here and actually the idea with these is you can see all the different joints on them. You can trim them, and based on how you trim them, um, it's actually got little instructions here on the side. Um, it'll change the action of it. Um, so it'll basically increase uh, the amount of roll that the bait has, so that kind of that undulating left to right uh, movement. Um, so that's pretty cool that these are you can kind of adjust them to be more finesse or be a little bit um, louder, as it were, or just putting off more vibration. So that's going to be a cool bait. Definitely versatile. Again, a great color. Um, kind of this green pumpkin-y shad type color. Um, you'll see a lot of bait fish that, that look like this, you know, whether it's brim or shad, herring. Um, big gizzard shads oftentimes have a little bit more of these darker shades to them. So. Um, this will be perfect on Clark's Hill and Murray. Um, so excited to try those out. Definitely be giving them a try. So thanks again uh, to the folks over there at CFT. Um, we've been doing a lot of talking and stuff, and it's, it's awesome to have met um, some folks who just love bass fishing. Um, so I'm excited to continue working with them. So just a little bit more about... Carolina Fishing Tackle. They're based up in North Carolina and they are a tackle shop that is focused on JDM baits. So they really specialize in baits that we don't get a lot of here in the US. Um, they do a lot of importing direct from Japan and you know partner with some of these Japanese companies that they make some really cool stuff but oftentimes you know we don't see over here in the States. And if you guys aren't aware, you know a lot of these fishing companies have a you know, pretty strict JDM market and a US market. And some of that JDM stuff, I mean, we just never see. Um, and so if you watch the elites um, or BPT or, or whatever, some of the, the pros, you know, some of these Japanese guys come, they bust out these super crazy lures that we've never seen before. 
Um, and so Carolina Fishing Tackle is kind of your way to get access to those baits. So definitely check them out. They've got all kinds of stuff. I've, I showed you some cool jerk baits and some cool swim baits, but they have anything from soft plastics to terminal tackle, jigs, spinner baits, buzz baits, big swim baits. If you're into the glide bait type of game, uh, they've got excellent selection of those. Um, really anything JDM that you can think of, they've got it. Um, so absolutely a cool website, tons of good stuff. They're always adding new, new baits and, and always looking for stuff. So, um, like I said, I've, I'm really excited to have met them and, uh, look forward to continue working with them in the future. I'm going to link, uh, their website and their social medias down below. So definitely give them a look. Um, and then next time you need some more tackle, you know, go check them out. Uh, they've got tons of cool options, great colors, and, you know, stuff that applies for anywhere in the country. So definitely take the time to go check out Carolina Fishing Tackle. You can find some awesome jerk baits like these along with all kinds of other great baits. So go check them out, and we'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.